All right, guys. So I want to wrap this up here um, with watch time and session time and the importance of both of those. They're both crucial metrics that YouTube uses to measure the success of both your videos uh, and your channel as a whole. So watch time essentially is how long you can keep someone engaged on your content, um, on that piece of video specifically, how long they're watching is the watch time obviously. The session time however is could be could be slightly different. So session time could be if you're suggesting cards, if you're you know you have suggested videos on the other on on, on the right. Um, if you're keeping people engaged with your channel's content, even if they're hopping from video to video, that's still session time. Now, another way that you could have session time is, believe it or not, just keeping them on the platform. So another way that YouTube uses to measure that is whether or not people start their YouTube session overall on your content and then from there they stay on the platform longer. So even if they're not watching your content, you might not be picking up YouTube ad revenue, but you are still keeping them on the, the, the platform, so to speak, because they started their session on your channel and then they maintained that session for a long period of time. That will also be a good ranking factor that YouTube will use to basically index your videos higher, suggest you more, because when they, when they make money, when they're, um, other content is being seen and it starts with you, that's good and it reflects good on them because you're keeping people engaged on the platform. So that's important thing to, things to keep in mind are watch time and session time. They're huge here in 2018 and going forward. As always, if you have any questions on you know watch time or session time or any of these topics that I go over in this course, like I said, message me on the platform, ask me questions there, drop a comment or a question, not, not a comment, I'm so used to making YouTube videos, <laughs> drop a question in the course Q&A and I'll answer it, uh, or shoot me an email to Brian, that's Brian with a Y, at bgmediainnovation.com, and with that being said, I will obviously get back to those uh, as I see it. I have roughly 80, probably you know, 81,000, maybe 85,000, depending on when you're watching this video, could be higher, um, but uh, 81,000 students roughly, and so I do take a little bit of time to get back to emails. I try to answer them and go through them, you know, once a day. So I don't always answer, you know, in a day. Uh, but if you if you send me an email, I will get back to you within a couple of days. I go through them periodically. Uh, now I want to talk about a video, another YouTube video that I did on my channel that's going to help you here. And that is five ways, I just recently put this one out, five ways to increase YouTube ad revenue in 2018. Obviously, ideally, that speaks volumes to how to increase your YouTube ad revenue, which will help you going forward. But mainly the way that you focus on increasing your YouTube ad revenue is by focusing on watch time and session time and improving yourself there in suggested video. I give you a bunch of different tips and tricks in that actual video that I put on my YouTube channel that can help you increase your watch time, your session time, and basically rank higher in YouTube, both SEO wise and suggested video wise, and basically give you more visibility across the platform. So it's a great video that you're gonna wanna check out. I'll put that as the next lecture in this course. So you'll be watching this YouTube video on my channel as a next lecture because I think it's really, really great and can provide you with a lot of value going forward. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna end this here. I just kinda wanted to touch on the fact that those two are very important metrics and I'll, the next video will actually help you and give you some ideas on how you can increase both of those and keep people engaged with your content as a whole.